Have you ever cut an apple and noticed it turns brown within minutes? Have you ever wondered why this happens? Let's break it down in simple science. When you slice an apple, you're actually damaging its cells. Inside those cells are phenolic compounds. When the cut apple is exposed to oxygen, the enzyme polyphenyl oxidase PPO is activated which oxidizes these phenols into brown pigments called melanins. In simple terms, PPO polyphenol oxidase converts the natural compounds in the apple into brown colored pigments called melanins. It's basically an enzymatic reaction which browns the apple, very similar to how you have seen iron getting rusted when exposed to air. However, there is a twist. This kind of browning is not harmful like the rust. In fact, the browning is apple's natural defense system. The apple through this browning is trying to protect the cut surface from microorganisms and further damage. The question is, can we stop it? Yes. You must have seen people squeezing lemon juice on cut apples. Why? Because lemon contains ascorbic acid. The acid slows down enzymes activity and prevents browning. When we store apples in water or in fridge, it reduces the exposure to oxygen. It reduces the exposure to air and slows down the process of browning. And remember, it's not just apples, bananas, pears, potatoes, brinjals and even avocados turn brown for very same reason, the same PPO enzyme reacting with oxygen. Now you must be thinking, sir, you mentioned melanin. Is it the same melanin that we have in our skin? The answer is no. Both are melanin because they are dark pigments, but they are made in a totally different way. In fruits, it's from an enzymatic reaction with the oxygen, PPO reacting with oxygen. But in humans, melanin is made by special skin cells called melanocytes that protect us from ultraviolet radiation or ultraviolet rays. So next time when your apple turns brown, remember it's not going bad. It's doing a little bit of natural chemistry to protect itself.